Hello everybody and welcome back to the Hilltop Pillbox in Abbotsford, British Columbia, Canada. And here we are and the war is well and truly joined. The Germans have done their bit to bring the Russians into the war and the Japanese have uh, done their bit to help the Americans get into the war a little sooner but we're just going to start out here by taking a look at uh, some of the major things that happened here in this turn. Uh, Klaus, you want to walk us through what happened here? Yeah, and uh, we decided to liberate Finland from the Red Horde, which we have done. And uh, we also liberated Murmansk from the Red Horde. How do you liberate country that's belonging to the country? Yeah, that is a good question. Yeah, and uh, I believe that answer is none of your business. All right, uh, what else did you guys do down here? Yeah, and we have brought many of our armored divisions. We have many armored, armored divisions. 52 armored divisions, I believe, is the number we are looking for. And uh, we have the medics, and we have tiger tanks, two tiger tanks, that we are building in our nice, fresh little factories. You can see we built a factory here, which will soon be clanking things out for us. And we uh, went into Russia. Uh, it was very fun. Yeah, you had the uh, the bonus on your attack into Russia. You got to choose one territory. And your attack had plus one. Everything that shot had plus one. And all the Russian defenders were minus one uh, to their uh, specs. So you kind of trounced them up there in Finland. You did lose a couple of things. But uh, you pretty much wiped them out. Um, I see you also bought some U-boats here. I guess that's with the Lend-Lease money the Americans sent you. Yeah, that is too. It's very kind of them. And, uh, and, and here we go. Uh, the, the British do have a destroyer, so they could come over and try to attack us. But you can see we have very cleverly placed some fighters that can scramble and defend. So we shall see what happens. Yeah, I guess we will. And uh, Ivan... Looks like you're you're being invaded here again. He's nothing new. We get invaded all the time. Sometimes Napoleon, sometimes Barbarossa, and now these uh, other people. What is it called? The Third Reich. Uh, close. Um, and what's going on here? Uh, are you worried about it? Not really. We have more men. That they have bullets, we'll be fine. All right. Well, I uh, you know, wish you all the best there. Looks like they've come in uh, quite force uh, forcefully. You have uh, built a minefield, though. I see. Now I see there's a red chip there. What does that mean? He's meaning this is an anti-armor minefield. If he's a blue chip, he's anti-personnel. And we also have our tank traps still in Smolensk, so that should help. Put the armor where we want it, not where they want it. Well, we'll see if that works out for you. On to Japan. Oh, Japan. What's going on there, Hirohito? You had some real troubles here earlier on. How are we looking now? We are looking much better, thank you. We have taken Salibs and we took Sumatra with force. Only Java remains. We take Java, we have big bonus. And the Dutch East Indies, of course, will be ours. There is nothing that can stop us. We liberated the Philippines by bombing it to pieces. And we kicked the Chinese out of French Indochina. It is a Japanese place. Well, it does have China in the name. It is a Japanese place. What about the French? Japanese. All right, uh, looks like your veteran troops are having some fun here. And you've uh, stockpiled a bunch of guys here. The, the Chinese do have numbers, but uh, not a lot of punch there for those guys. Communist China, well, they're there. And uh, you got some more troops. But the Russians are at war now with Germany, but uh, that doesn't mean they're at war with you. That's, that's, uh, that's correct, yes? That is correct. Just because you fight with one does not mean you fight with everyone. And we trust our Soviet partners. All right. Good luck with that. And here you built a Yamato battleship. 
Three hit points to sink. Shoots pretty well. Defends pretty well. So I think that could be a big target for the Americans. What? You cannot sink battleship. It is impossible. That is why it's called a battleship. Let me uh, tell you about a thing called uh, Pearl Harbor someday, buddy, but uh, not today. All right. Let's see what happens with the rest of turn four. All right. Here we are with the back half of turn four. A lot of exciting things went on. We're going to start with the British. Nigel, take us through it. Ah, uh, yes, be delighted to. Well, we went and uh, saw that Jerry had put a bunch of U-boats down here in the channel, and we decided to do something about it, and that decision was to sink them, and so we did. But we also had a spot of fun with our commandos that we were able to drop off in Oslo and take that back from the Germans, which was very exciting. And we also ended up bulking up a little bit here in Cairo. As you can see, we built three more tanks. And we've tried to put a bit of a presence in Transjordan to stop the Italians from perhaps closing the Suez Canal on us. And we also built a couple of fighters, which will, Johnny on the spot, be up in Cairo next turn to help solidify the defenses, which I think will look wonderful. We also had our French helpers here in Africa take Tripoli from the Italians just because they could. Well, it was empty, you know, so we just walked in and there it was, all the sand and the scorpions and uh, the camels, you know, it was uh, not too tough of a job, you know. Yes, quite. Hey, I also see that uh, something happened here in France. You want to tell us what happened there? Uh, well, maybe I'll let our Canadian tell you. Um, uh, Wayne, Wayne, yes, could you please tell us what happened here? Well, we just, uh, you know, we saw that Normandy didn't have anybody really in it, eh? Just had one tank, eh? So, you know, we just, we came on over and, uh, you know, had a couple of Molsons and uh, hopped right on the beach there, you know? Uh, no problem, eh? And we also had some help. We had some uh, fellows come up here from... Uh, the Gibraltar uh, area, the Rio de Oro, they came and helped us up, you know, uh, solidify that area. So that was uh, pretty cool, eh? Yes, uh, quite. Very uh, articulate. Thanks, eh? And I see that there's also even some Americans here who have uh, made the trip across. Uh, Tex, what's going on, bud? Well, we saw that uh, them crazy Canucks was having all the fun there in France, and uh, we figured, well, shoot, we want to get on over there and have some fun ourselves. And so we just dropped a couple of transports uh, full of fellas there, and uh, we decided, you know, we're going to keep the pressure on uh, Adolf there, and uh, where it looks like we're going with a Germany first uh, strategy here today. Uh, not a lot going on over here in the uh, Pacific Theater for us, so... Uh, you know, we lost Manila, and that was sad. You know, the whole Bataan thing didn't go so well. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, we've got our fleet here in uh, Hawaii, and uh, we're looking uh, pretty darn good there. Uh, so, uh, ain't no uh, Japanese boats around much. They are convoying us here, though, and that's something dreadful. But uh, we're now in a position to do something about that. Well, looks, uh, looks pretty good for you there. Uh, wow, Calcutta. <laughs> it's quite a stack of fellows you got there. Oh, yes it is. It is very, very tall. Well, why did you build it that tall? Like, why not use some red chips or something? Well, when he is this tall, he can see very far. We can see what the Japanese are doing in China. You know, it, it's flat. Um, cool. Um, it looks like you got some help from Britain again, helping you build some stuff. You built some tanks. Looks like you've shored up the defenses pretty well there, but uh, your economy is kind of getting nibble away here. Yeah, nibble, nibble, nibble. Well, we only have one island left, and we are being convoyed by a Japanese submarine. We are hoping Anzac will do something about that next turn. Yeah, Anzac uh, didn't really do much this turn. They just kind of brought the fleet back here. 
uh, out of harm's way from the Japanese for the time being. But they also uh, built a commando and a bomber. So it looks like you guys might be planning something in the air there. Uh, is that true? Well, we have to be very careful to protect our interests no matter where they are. So, if we have to perhaps make a paratroop drop someplace, now we can do it. Yes, you can. Well, folks, looks like the battle lines are well and truly drawn here. The, uh, the Chinese did not attack last round. They just pulled everybody back to Szechuan. And uh, the Japanese looks like they're having their way in Asia right now. Nobody can really stand up to them. And uh, they've got the money island. So their economy is starting to rock and roll here. Anzac is, uh, well, Anzac's Anzac, kind of cornered here. And America didn't spend any money in the Pacific, so we're going to see if that was a, uh, a mistake there uh, for uh, America, is whether or not they should have helped uh, Russia. I don't know, looking, uh, looking pretty strong up north, but down south uh, looks like you've got uh, some real growing concerns here, especially down towards the Crimea. You know, the uh, fortress in Sevastopol, uh, well... Looks like it could be in for some trouble. I know there's no fortress on the board, but hey, it's historical. And in Africa, looks like we've got some fairly uh, big forces on both sides. And I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what happens there. And Germany, well, you've got some problems here in France. Wonder what you're going to do to take care of that. You don't have any armor anywhere in the area. So, uh, well, you're going to have to build some stuff up, I guess. Yeah, and the Germans are so good at building. I think it should not be a problem. Well, we'll see. If Paris gets liberated, they get a one-time payment of $12, which typically means four infantry that they put into Paris, and, uh, and away you go. But uh, France also has most of its overseas holdings still. It'll collect all the money from everything that uh, has a British symbol on it. So, except for the Far East holdings, which the Japanese have taken, uh, France's economy isn't uh, that far off of what they start with. So, we'll have to see what happens if uh, France can uh, get back into the game this early. That could be uh, bad news for the Germans. All right, folks, we'll let you know what happens. This is the end of turn four, and we're headed for turn five. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.